you know, we've been through it all. We went from conquering from one galaxy to another, fighting different villains from one another. You know, it's been a bit too much for us for the last five years. And I think, well, it's about time that we got things straight and in order and in place. Because, you know, we really have had a hard time for the last five years uh, dealing with these following threats that we dealt with. And I think we needed a, well, let's just say we needed a better challenge than what we already have. Because I really hated the fact that the things that we went through were just really hard for us. They were really so hard. I mean, we went from the Xeon Empire to whatever this will take us next because I want to know exactly what was the next step for us afterwards because, you see, as Rangers, our duty was to protect uh, Terra Venture from evil and that's what we've been doing for so long. And besides, not to mention what we have went through dealing with well, whatever it was that we were dealing with, because it was just so tough for us to get through through it all. And um, I really had a serious hard time uh, getting on my feet and also doing what needed to be done. So I'm, I'm all right for now. I mean, it's just... Uh, I just don't know exactly what will come next afterwards. You get what I'm saying, right? Okay, so um, I'm just wondering what's going to happen next. Because I bet I pretty much had the fear for the worst. And uh, we had to keep a, a low pro profile after when the Xeon Empire uh, dissipated. And I know this is the last, and this was just very sudden that we haven't got to see, um, well, it was, I, I just can't put it in words here. Um, it's a little hard for me to say, and, um, I just want to know more about the person we're dealing, we're about to deal with pretty much soon. And after when a friend of mine showed me a photo of her on his tablet, she's like our next most wanted um, enemy. And um, I, I've been very familiar with her, but what do you think what, what, what do you think she has in store for us or my team for that matter? I hear some say she is uh, incredibly dangerous. She seems pretty lethal. Well, for me, that is. I don't seem to believe it. So, that's pretty much about that. And some say that she may be this mentally unstable woman, and I really wouldn't say she's that unstable, but I heard she's this dangerous. I heard she wants to hurt people. I heard, she's, I heard that she wants to give people a piece of her mind. And, and the whole, you mess with her, you're going to be in for a world of hurt, hurt kind of deal. And that is really egregious, if you will, to say, for her to say things like that, you know? I've never even met this person. And I'm going to have to admit to you, but I don't even think I even have the courage to even want to take her down or anything like that. Because... I just don't seem to know. Tell us, tell me how you know of this person. What was she? What is she like? I don't know. I just just started to know who she is. Um, something tells me that she knows that I'm the Red Ranger, and she's gonna know of my identity. She's gonna know about me. She's gonna know about what my team is about. She's gonna know pretty much almost everything you can imagine about me. Um, yeah, she's, she's really going to go for it. She's really going to go for the gold. Well, or more like for the black, if you will. But, you know, I'm just really bummed out, Doc. It's just, uh... 
I have a serious feeling that something worse will come to Terra Venture, and soon. And I don't even—I don't really think that worrying so much would put some more stress to me. But I mean, I mean, but me as a leader of my own Ranger team, I have never been stressed. I was always been straightforward about what was yet, what would yet to come. That's pretty much been always been my thing. I'm just so nervous right now. Wondering what she will do next to our colony. And the thing I was expecting the worst from the Xeon Empire, I think I'm starting to expect worse from these, how can you say, insectoids or some crap like that. I don't know. Because I was expect, I knew I was going to expect the worst. I was going to expect it. Pretty much likely. So you really want to know exactly the real truth about her? Do you want to know about her? What are you doing during my therapy session and my counseling session with the therapist. What are you doing here? Let's just say this is a fish out of water uh, interview because I really think I know what you were expecting for the worst. Because you see, I served her once when her father died. So doesn't that make you like the stepfather pretty much? Don't rub it in. Didn't I already destroyed you last movie? Why are you coming back for this one? I decided to make a comeback, but to start things fresh and take things more serious this time. Okay, but your time was already up during the first film. I mean, our last, I mean, my first adventure as the Red Ranger, and then all of a sudden you wanted to come back so you could see. Oh boy. Even though Metarex and his army may be gone, but let this be a warning to you, Red Ranger. My queen shall rise again and bring much more havoc than the last time. You better remember that. I don't understand. Because five years ago, when we did this movie, things just didn't go so well as planned. Five years later, we're gonna set things right. And I mean it. No more procrastinations. No more hassles, no more nothing. Let me get this straight. You want to come by to take me down as well, too? It ain't happening in the sequel, man. I mean, this is our sec- this is gonna be soon our second movie. I mean, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy 2, yo. Or Dos, or, you know, like, you know, two for Spanish, you know what I mean. I mean, come on, this is going to be our second movie, and you're going to come back and do the exact same crap again? Not happening, because you know nobody didn't like our first movie, so what makes you think that our second one will be any worse? Or, or better, or for something for that least, huh? We've been trying to get an outreach from the audience if they'll like the sequel just because you know who is coming back. But a little bit different from ever, because you see, our movies are part of an alternate reality. We're part of an alternate reality from the original. So that way we won't confuse people with the real deal. Not to mention that, th that there is a real Power Rangers movie coming out next year. I mean, I mean, two years from now, you know what I mean. So you mean to tell me that for our next movie, we're going to go from what, where our slip-ups were from the first to being actually totally serious and mature for the second one? What the heck do you think this is? That Power Slash Rangers film we had uh, back in February? <laughs> Please. I mean, come on. I mean, when I looked, when I saw that short film, that wasn't really Power Rangers. Yeah, sure, it was mature and dark and gritty, but that doesn't mean our second movie is going to be dark and gritty like that, with the drugs and the violence and the and the blood and everything, the sex and. Okay, I get it. It's not going to be nothing like that. It's just going to be exactly what we was from the previous film and the previous time when we did this together, but the difference is, things are going to be more serious and grounded this time around. <laughs> I mean, come on. 
I mean, our, at first, our first movie was supposed to be grounded and serious and stuff, but instead, we had a, uh, well, a more messed up, goofier time with it, because, well, as Power Rangers, the, the, the franchise is supposed to be kitty and goofy and campy. That's been part of the franchise's charm since MMPR. But our season was, well, in between. But the first fan film we did with you as one of the main villains? I don't think you really took your material seriously last time, but it seems like at the point from the tone of your voice, you seem to really want to take the material seriously now. And I'm really starting to see it. So, oh, man. So we are taking the material seriously now. I mean, the first movie wasn't good. So something tells me the sequel is going to be even serious and taking less fun out of it. Oh, boy. So... I can't believe this. She is actually coming. Yes. For her revenge. The real revenge deal. Unlike 15 years ago. In real canon. Because she didn't get the proper ending that she deserved. Mostly during your team up with a past ranger, with a then past ra racing ranger team, but although we have nothing in common with the main canon and the real Galaxy Rangers in its respective series, but something tells me you guys are going to alter that history, that pinpoint of that ranger team's history. We've already did it during the first movie, but it seems like we're going to do it again in the second movie. I just don't know how this is going to work. And something tells me, myself, things are not going to look so pretty as expected. Even with her around now. Even though my promises with Metarex last film wasn't what I hoped, but something tells me I need to go back to my real master. I mean, my my real worshiper, my queen, as much as she already destroyed me before, now I know I have to pay the price. But beware, Red Ranger. She will come back for you and put it into all of your legacy. You and the Rangers included. Let this be a fair warning. Let this be a fair warning for you. She's going to put an end to my legacy? That's not going to happen. I just became a Power Ranger since 2014. Crap. So she is coming. She is actually coming to rise again. This is going to be worse than I thought. Let's just say I told you so. Seems like I need to regain my worship to her again. And, and I think I owe her an, an apology after so many years. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you once filming starts soon. It's going to be, you're going to have to, you and the Rangers and the, and the entire colony of Terror Adventure is going to have to buckle up because this will be one long run, one long run and one long hell of a ride. Because if you guys, if you Rangers fail to comply against my Empress, you will all feel her wrath and if you fail to comply by fe feeling her wrath, she will have to take force by bringing every single one of you to Chaos City. Chaos City? 
What's Chaos City? You'll see soon enough. This coming 2016. I'm off for now. I got other better plans to do. coming to rise again viewers beware